Hey guys, what's up? This is Joseph Levesque with the marketing team for the upcoming project co-named Dreams and Nightmares. We want to give you a monthly update as far as some of what's been done for the project since the development launch trailer that we put out last month. So since then, we've released the MVP, which is the minimum viable concept, the bare minimum on some of the core mechanics that are going to go into the final game. So we want to give you a sneak peek at some of the progress that's been done on some of the departments. Keep in mind, whatever you see in this video is currently under development it's not going to be the final product now also do know before we get started with the video if you might be interested in in the future being a QA tester for this game check out the video description below we're gonna have a link where you can sign up to be a QA tester as well as join our newsletter so check that out below let's go ahead and get started all right so I'm gonna breeze really quickly through what's been done so far for development now in the future we're gonna actually have some sneak peeks of some gameplay footage and so forth we didn't want to give any too early during the development process though as in to give a wrong first impression of what's been done because it's still very early a lot of the art is placeholder and we felt like if we showed gameplay it would be a little too premature so right now we're just gonna tell you what's been developed but very soon we're hoping to actually have some footage to show you guys but as far as what's been done with development development is being updated on almost a daily basis there's a lot of things being done on a regular basis so we have basic point and click movement where you can move the character around the map we've already got a working primitive combat system with a variety of different types of weapons like bows swords spears so forth there is an npc system where you can go and talk with npcs also merchants where you can buy and sell items there are chests that are already programmed where you can store items inside of the game there is already a quest system that's underway where we can I, i'm hoping we can put a very robust system of quests inside of the game where there's a lot of things to do outside of the main storyline there's a working mini map one of the most exciting parts also is we have already working multiplayer through port forwarding so if you are able to port forward you will be able to play with multiple players inside of this game it's already working inside of the engine we have created this it's a uh, fantastic we've already got a skill and leveling system that is it's very primitive but it's being developed and it's already a very good framework for what we want to build off of it in the future there's a working win system inside of the game this is one of the parts I'm most excited about I wish I could show you guys but maybe I can show a little sneak peek though there's wind inside of the engine that blows and makes the grass move and it's beautiful it, it just blows me away it's I love it I love it but there's also a good uh, water sh there's some great water shaders that have been developed inside of the game the water is very visually good I'm very pleased with how this is turning out visually but we're gonna talk more about that we're gonna have more to show you guys on the side of development hopefully very soon in the future yo 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 all right guys so we have an art direction chosen for this game it's going to be amazing so we're going for more of a simplistic low poly hand painted art style very similar in a lot of ways to the original torchlight now some people might automatically be like oh they're going cartoony no and i wouldn't necessarily say cartoony it's just a simplistic art style we need something that someone who's not necessarily an industry professional for many years is able to duplicate with a volunteer team like we have it's not just because of that alone but i mean this is the style that has worked for a lot of games and we think that it's gonna work for us dare you to say otherwise yeah for the cutscenes in the game we're going to go for a more 2d comic book style cutscene which hasn't been done by a lot of games but i think it's a very unique touch for us unfortunately Unfortunately, there's not a lot of 3D art to share with you guys, but there is a good amount of concept art designing characters, designing bad guys, bad boys, yeah. So there's been a lot of hard work put into this. We have a good bit of an art direction, and hopefully by the next video, we'll have some pretty snazzy art to share with you guys. So stay tuned. So now we're going to talk a little bit about the story for this game. I think it's pretty fantastic. I'm excited about it. It very heavily focuses on these four friends named John, Raphael, Tressa, and Evie. Now inside of this game, each one of the four friends in one night all have the same dream. But in the middle of the dream, it gets cut off and they're left wondering, well, what was supposed to happen after that? So they come together inside the real world and talk about this dream that they had. And they realize that all of them had the exact same dream, but were not able to finish it so they pray together that God would allow them that next night to have the same dream and to finish it to see what it is that he's trying to tell them so this is where the gameplay comes in where you 
you're playing through each of these four different dreams that make up the game where each dream uniquely focuses on one of the different people that you can play as. Now each of the characters has unique backstories, really defines who they are as a person, and they each have unique personalities that also define how they are inside of the game. So John is the more dominant leader type of person, but his weakness is that he can at times be over impulsive and reckless, and even ignorant at times. So then with Raphael, he's the more musician type with a small, uh, a strong charismatic presence to him, but his weakness is that at times he can be over ambitious and even shoot too high in a way that comes back and hurts him. With Evie, you have uh, her strengths being that she's very organized and she has a great sense of humor, a very fun person to be around, but her weakness is that she can be too prideful. Then with Tressa, she is a very energetic, enthusiastic, and exciting person to be around. Her weakness is that she can be too doubtful and have a poor self-image of herself. So with each of these dreams, as you play through them, at the end of each one, God gives the four people a vision with all four of the visions through the dreams leading up to a message that he's trying to tell them. We're very excited to show you guys as we continue to develop the storyline inside of this game. So as far as the music for this project, we have a large team of 14 people, over one dozen musicians. Now with that many people, that inevitably means you're going to have some diversity of style. Now for this project though, we've actually decided to go with that. So we're going to have a lot of diversity in the music that's created for this project, but we're going to bring it together in a consistent theme that flows throughout the game. That means the music is actually going to be a lot of fun for this project. So I've seen styles like orchestral, I've seen instrumental piano, electronic music, rock music, but we're gonna bring all that together in a way that sounds very good and is not like jarring because it's like all over the place. I could keep talking about the music, but let me show you a little bit of it because it's easier to do that than try to verbally describe it. So let's get some snippets. Note that all this is still under progress. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Make sure to subscribe to Christian Game Developers Conference for any updates on this project in the future. And as well as mentioned in the beginning of this video, if you think that you might be interested in in the future being a QA tester and joining our email newsletter, make sure to go ahead and check out the link below.